new movie Truth or Dare. But authorities were said to be searching for something else when the material girl arrived in France for the Cannes Film Festival. Madonna materialized late to her first party in Cannes due to complications at the Nice airport. Reportedly, French customs officials acting on a tip held her up for over an hour searching for drugs. I understand from, from some English sources that she was actually uh, strip searched at Nice airport. Now, whether this is true, I don't know. But I understand that certainly there was a problem with the, the fitness kit. Um, and that, as I think I understand the dumbbells were, were taken apart. Despite her less than warm welcome, Madonna wasted no time making the rounds with a wealth of security guards in tow. Her first stop was a party thrown by Italian producer Dino De Laurentiis for her film Truth or Dare, retitled In Bed with Madonna for its international release. <laughs> the bash was complete with dancers designed to make Madonna look tame, and a star-studded guest list included Tina Turner, Eddie Murphy, and Dennis Hopper, all to applaud the crowned queen of controversy. She's a strong, smart charismatic woman who's constantly thinking. You can see her thinking all the time. She's a smart woman and she's beautiful. I love Madonna. Madonna's a good friend and uh, she's a terrific entertainer. Madonna premieres her new movie in Cannes tonight. The debut of Tana made a crowning entrance at the premiere of her Truth or Dare film in France. The crowds went crazy and one fan even fainted from the excitement. Eddie Murphy and Jeff Bridges braved the throng of thousands, but Madonna herself stole the spotlight when she flashed the crowd before the screening. And the fans loved it. She do like that. Yeah! And everybody clapped. <laughs> she was good. She was good. I liked it. She was Madonna and she took her clothes off and everyone loved it.